and dangle my stash zipping through the forest with a curl and fleas to grow with them spindles the mutant I sees I capture the dread beast who falls to his knees and cries to his cohorts to sleep in the trees <laughs> Good afternoon, or not afternoon, or good afternoon, good morning, good early morning, where I am, good uh, Friday, good Friday evening, uh, fair use guidelines, public domain, freedom of speech and entertainment. So I'm not sure if you guys have picked up what's going on here, but, um, you know, my little medley and everything, but I do need to get first get out of the way. I am sorry if I have not gotten back to emails, messages, um, Instagrams, gabs, things like that. I've been kind of busy in, in doing this stuff. Um, I really wasn't planning on getting like three videos out in a day and it's a little bit time consuming. So I apologize and I will get back to everybody because I like to get back to everybody. And um, yeah, so that's it. Let's move forward, shall we? Oh, loopy, 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 loopy. Well, I, I guess Friday, I had run in, well, I didn't run into loopy, but loopy was sort of lingering around on Twitter. I, I saw loopy harassing several people that had tweeted my blog or my YouTube videos. And it's funny because Loopy has never had an issue with any of them before, but these last two that were about the Shite Squad and Christopher Boozy, and now this last one was Boozy and Wally, Loopy seems to have an issue with that. And I don't know if anybody, you know, Loopy, I don't, I get, I hope everybody's catching my drift here and we'll get into it, but Loopy kind of looks like a little sunshine there. And then I've got a, a saxophone next to me. So sunshine and a, a sax and old Loopy. So Loopy said this to four different people, or a couple different people, uh, Thunderstruck HR, Sunday, SWFNC Jack. Why don't, uh, you're tweeting content on Twitter, or you're, Tweeting content on Twitter, copy Twitter support, for both Yankee Wally and at Duchess of Narcissics, who both have had their accounts suspended. You are helping these people circumvent permanent sus suspensions, which is against Twitter rules. No, Loopy, maybe you need to read those Twitter rules again. So she dropped by a couple places. You know how like, Loopy likes to drop by. <clears throat> said it to several people again. Um, Queen Gertrude, she said it to her. So 
here are the rules, and I'm not putting these up here so that people continue to post my blog or my videos. If you don't want to, then don't. It's, it's fine. Or if you do, that's fine too. But I know Loopy or somebody will be watching this. So I pulled out the um, ban evasion policy, the circumventing policy. All that has to do with is accounts there, Loopy. You can't, um, you can't circumvent a Twitter suspension. Uh, you can't intend to evade any Twitter remediation, such as creating a new account. Nobody's trying to do that, Loopy. Repurposing an already existing account. Well, we know I don't have one. Uh, operating or having someone else operate on my behalf, an account. You got to pay attention, Loopy. An account which represents my identity, persona, brand, persona for a different purpose. So you're wrong, Loopy. Stop bullying people. <clears throat> Circumventing Twitter enforcement, such as permanent suspension. Well, nobody's doing that, Loopy. So stop bullying people. Or tell Christopher Boozy to stop being a scumbag and harassing Yankee Wally and, 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 and your squad, too. And then I won't have anything to talk about. So, yeah, you can't allow somebody to permanently take over somebody's account. Well, I don't. So they're allowed to post whatever content they'd like. Moving on. So while I was going through all of that with Loopy, I don't know what made me look something up. But I, I saw something where Loopy had, had talked to me on September 12th, you know, and I, I was just flipping through and I, I almost went past it. And then I, a name caught my eye. And I'm like, who is Elizabeth E. Thorpe? Who's that? Maybe I should click on her. Well, okay, these slides, this wasn't right in order. She works at Sun, Sunshine Sachs, this um, Elizabeth Thorpe. So I'm going to show you, and this is just what I found, and I don't even, I think I got tired of, uh, tired of taking screenshots and uploading pictures. So you're going to see how many. So out of all the people that work at Sunshine Sachs, and I will put these up on, on the blog for you guys to see if you want to. Out of all the people that Loopy could start copying people on, look at all these people. Lots and lots of people. Loopy keeps copying this one woman. We'll get to her. I just got to keep clicking here. Keep going. Out of all these people, Loopy. All these people. See? Okay, this is the last one. This woman is who she's copying on. She copied on mine, and that was in September. So, you know, we know what happened to me. So, well, I've got a nice little slideshow for you guys. So... Elizabeth Thorpe is the a VP at Sunshine Sachs. Shocking, I know. I know. She was out of their DC office, which I found also interesting. Why wouldn't they why wouldn't Loopy be copying somebody may, they have a Beverly Hills person that works that they've got all kinds of people in New York, Washington DC. These are some of the other people that Loopy has copied in some of her tweets that we'll go over, but I just wanted to point these out. Nazir Afzal, OBE, former chief prosecutor uh, in the UK, chair Hopewell Hall, chair CCSA, Nat advisor, Welsh government. So Loopy's <coughs> Loopy, little Loopy, fuzzy little, cute little Loopy is everything but fuzzy and cute little Loopy. That's a costume. We'll get into that. So that person, Sean Sachs. Loopy's copying Sean Sachs on stuff. Loopy got a little sloppy and arrogant. That's how I found this stuff out. Way to go, Loopy. I'm sure no one's going to be happy with you, Loopy. Who else? This, I can't see because I can't get on Twitter. You know, I got to... Uh, 
this guy, we believe the press should be held to standards which protect the public, strengthen democracy, and safeguard freedom of expression. Uh huh. Just like when somebody tells you, oh, no strings attached, that means chains are usually attached, or I just want to protect you. Mm hmm. Sure. Then this Chris Bastardi, I don't know who he is. He's a, he's a dancer, it looks like, but Loopy seems to think that he's important enough to be with all these other people. Brian Cathcart, journalist, author, Kingston University, co-founder of Hacked Off, News from Waterloo, lives in London. The Ethical Journalism Network. Oh, really? Okay. They're out of London, too. Thanks, Loopy. Okay, so here's Elizabeth Thorpe, Vice President of Sunshine Sachs. Um... Senior communications exec. This is all pretty much all. Uh, she worked with Dr. Jill Biden uh, it, with her first regional magazine cover in D.C. So what a small world, isn't it? So and I, I apologize, guy, guys, I'm kind of I'm a little bit tired, but I wanted to get this out. My eyes are tired from like staring at the screen and just uploading photos. So. Yeah, so we can see what's going on here. It gets worse. So a project, I saw this on LinkedIn, a project that Elizabeth worked on was the Chelsea Clinton elephant poaching project. Now, I had to look into That didn't sound good, but she just has it typed in that way, I hope. But they were trying to stop poaching. Her personal Twitter is Posh Brood. I believe that was like a, a travel blog or a lifestyle blog or something like that. So this is the first tweet that I'm going to show you. So last, on April 17th, 2020, which would have been a month after the bombshell, as my boyfriend H.G. Tudor would say, Oprah interview with the, two, the Cuomo, such a nice guy, Gavin Newsom, Bill Clinton, Clinton Global, Chelsea Clinton. This Elizabeth Thorpe writes back to everybody, I'll be there. And obviously I have no issue with Elizabeth Thorpe. <laughs> I have an issue with the Sussexes. So Elizabeth's going to be there so we can see what's going on. Loopy's, Loopy's looping her in the loop. Then this Emily Baldwin, the CIA spy girl. I looked her up. She did... Um, disguises for the CIA and makeup and I guess prosthetic noses and, and things like that, which that's pretty cool. So Elizabeth's in this group with, um, let's see, let me just pick out David Weiss, Weissman. I, I think he's a scumbag. CIA spy girl, Sarah Silverman, Alyssa Milano, AOC. I looked up Elizabeth Warren, uh, Chelsea Clinton, The Ellen Show. Right. And so then Elizabeth writes back, wow, th this is super sister list. So flattered to be a part of this amazing f uh, group of fierce women. That's great. Kathy Griff Griffin's talking about poor Chelsea's getting bullied. Well, now, at least Chelsea Clinton. I mean, I don't know what she's up to. I mean, I could I could make my guesses or whatever, but I don't care to make my guesses. But at least she stays out of out of the sunshine sacks. She she lurks in the shadows where she should be. So, you know, those two idiots just can't stay out of the sunshine sacks. <clears throat> Elizabeth Thorpe is talking about how she gets hate mail too. One of the women in, in this sister group here wrote a book. Her name's Zerlina Maxwell, The End of White Politics. That doesn't sound racist at all. Not at all. Then another girl, Charlotte Clymer. This is her Twitter page. Has Diana rolling her eyes. I guess that would be an anti-monarchy thing. Yeah, it is. She's a writer. Um, she went to Georgetown. Lives in D.C. Tweeted on November 3rd. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, is out there doing the work to rally support for paid family leave. <clears throat> yeah, all that garbage. <laughs> and then, so here we go. October 4th, Charlotte Clymer. 
Twitter is now partially down too. At CBoozy says the servers are overloaded. Well, that so is it safe to assume that Charlotte knows Christopher Boozy on October 4th? Before any of the whole hate campaign investigated, you know, because Charlotte is in that group of power system, right? March 8th, Oprah, what kind of protection did you want? What time? Oprah, what kind of protection did you want that you felt you didn't receive? Oh, okay. Megan, they would go on the record to defend anyone. Well, maybe you're not defensible, Megan. But the story about making Kate cry was the beginning of a character assassination. Wow. Now, is it just me or is it ridiculous that, that, that the entire world is talking about two grown women, whether they made each other cry or not? That is the most ridiculous, absurd, she made me cry. Well, so, I mean, who cares if either one of them made each other cry? People cry every day. Ugh. Loopy. Now, this is where we're going to get into Loopy, I noticed. So I started looking into Loopy and how often she was tagging Elizabeth Thorpe. And it was quite often, and then I noticed a pattern of, and this was on October 4th, a pattern that everybody that she had tagged Elizabeth on, including yours truly, is no longer on Twitter. And Loopy also puts Twitter support next to it, Jack, Elizabeth, and then puts the Sussex squad next to it, so... I'm going to go ahead and say that they're all intertwined, and I'm going to go ahead and say, and you'll agree with me, that Loopy is a field agent for the Sunshine Ball Sacks. She's the little field agent. She's not Loopy. You know, she stops by. She's not so rude that you tell her off. She's not so rude that you block her. She does her little winks, you know, things like that. But everybody that has come across, Elizabeth has come across. Now, Elizabeth doesn't interact with her. She just copies Elizabeth. And we'll get into that. She's talking about Ijar Jardine. I hope I pronounced that right. And then Nikki D. PR showing all that stuff. This will, I will put the pictures up. She's, both of those accounts are gone. Uh, uh, who's she talking about here? Jordan, they're after you, Jordan, because you've got Elizabeth E. Thorpe on your, you're on their radar. So they just haven't gotten you yet, Jordan. So they've got all his tweets lined up. And, you know, I don't really think it's a problem showing that Uncle Yosef Stalin and Hitler and uh, the Ayatollah were on Time Magazine. And those two are, it's a fact, Loopy. Who's next? CB. Look at this. October 2nd. Twitter sees no problem providing Sussex hate dumb members like CB a platform for hate. Okay. Well, sh the only thing that CB really did, she make funny jokes, was to keep track of you scumbag sugar shite squads. Right, Loopy? That's why she had to go. So, yeah, so we got another Elizabeth Sussex squad jack Twitter support. Right. And this is the same loopy that's now going around telling people about Twitter rules. So if you start seeing Elizabeth E. Thorpe show up on your tweets, folks. Who okay, who's this now? CB again. More tweets about her. Man, they really wanted you, CB. That was September 29th. Now they want um Artemis. I can't see that far. I, yeah, it's Artemis. Who knew that these vile paper scratching, which they got Artemis off for a week or two here and there, I think. Right? I think so. Who knew that these vile paper scratchings are what passes for art and satire in the demented world of Sussex hate them? Well, Loopy, I did see a tweet of, I believe it was yours, saying, well, you know, if we could just, if they could just be, I don't think re reprogrammed was the word, but it was, redirected they're very talented maybe they can make their art towards something else because they like it maybe i'll dig that up 
Loopy. Who's next? This Ajar Jardine. They were doing Nikki D the last one. Who knew it doesn't be appear This is actually pretty interesting. Loopy keeps using the same boy sunshine sax boilerplate language here. Maybe everybody should start using Loopy's language to get Twitter's attention. Right? Because that seems to be working. Minus the Elizabeth. <clears throat> Who's this? This is uh, CC. Is that CC? Yes, that's CC. Guess what? CC's gone. Elizabeth E. Thorpe, get out of town. Cambridge, you've got to love these Cambridge supporters. Low IQ Sussex hate them. So maybe we need to start doing, or those on Cam uh, Twitter, Cambridge hate them. Things like that. Time tweeting. They're going after uh, Richard Aiden. So I doubt they're going to be able to do anything with him, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean they're going to stop trying. Well, Richard, I'll show you. It was, this is in response to a tweet of his. Well, Richard, this tweet is a keeper. Wait till you see how rotten it is, what he said. This tweet is a keeper, especially in light of what your followers are tweeting. Wink, wink. <clears throat> it seems the tweets from your fans are pretty disgusting, too. Clean up your own backyard before commenting on others. Copy Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Oh, sorry, that shouldn't be. He just said something about, and I'll fix that for the blog. He said something about how disgusting uh sugar the Sussex squad tweets were he didn't even say anything about the duke and duchess now loopy's going after m's brea i don't even know who this i mean i can't keep up with all that and there's some other internal things that i'll give to people i i don't want involved but this is another one i know m's has at least had trouble Brea, if they're the same person, but Elizabeth E. Thorpe, Sussex Squad, Jack, Twitter support, Twitter, Sussex hate them. Matt Wilkinson. I don't know who he is. He's got to check. The Sun's backbench and sub-editors earned their beer money today. Disclaimer, these comments were not actually uttered. So it's just like comical satire stuff like spider-man kate holds i think i'll call her megan what's the big you know i didn't know megan owned the word the name megan and this must be her oh well harry doesn't own that word either but it's cute it's funny here's what he writes here's what loopy writes i do be do believe your disclaimer may be invalid in the U uk wink that could be in that could be in words, pictures, videos, music, and includes information posted on websites. Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Now, this is what Loopy is citing here. The offense of incitement to hatred. Incitement to hatred. Okay. When someone acts in a way that is threatening and intended to stir up hatred. Well, Maybe it's stirring up your hatred to hate people, but they're not too tired to parse these and dissect these words. I'm sorry, folks. That could be in words, pictures, music, videos, and includes information posted on websites. Well, aren't you special, Luke? Who's next? This, oh, that might be a, I don't know if that's a double slide it is. Teresa Longo fan Teresa Longo fans, look out. They've had you on there um September twenty second. But they don't seem to be going after you as maybe just keep an eye out. I didn't see much when I was going through, but just keep your eyes open. Sunshine Ball Sacks field agent and their handler is watching. Teresa Longo's talking about Longo fan is talking about Somebody was talking about some photo shoot. Look at how thrilled these two look. Yeah, we're thriving. You guys are jealous. Yeah, she needs to wash her hair. And I don't know. Yeah, I do know what his problem is. It's sitting right next to him. And same with her. 
a disgruntled member of staff who left fairly recently. Well, how do you know, Loopy? I would imagine it would be quite easy for them to be identified, to be honest. Oh, I'm sure it would be, Loopy. You must have paid them very well for this information, as the British media would have been all over it if they knew. Wink. <laughs> um, they had a, like an argument behind closed doors. Well, you know, just because the doors closed doesn't mean people can't hear the argument, Loopy. I wonder who the crew member was. Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Now, who did that? Who was that? Who filmed that? That was like their, that was a time thing, but that was like for voting or something. I wonder if anybody could look in to see if somebody got fired. Here we go. Oh, he's harassing the Archwell guy. Do you own the, own the copyright for these images you're using for advertising? Well, Loopy, what business is it of yours? Because you've got a little, a little like bird with big eyes and your name's Loopy Lala 101 to be asking such serious questions. Right, Loopy? Right, Elizabeth? Or, well, who knows who Loopy could be? Who knows? <clears throat> yes, I do own all of them, including the LV trademark. You want to might you might want to look up how to use a trademark correctly, and look up the tort of passing. Oh, really, Loopy? You don't look like you should know what two plus two is, Elizabeth, or whomever. You may you may own the trademark Archwell L V Philippi. You don't own the trademark Archwell. Okay, but I'm too tired to get into that law, Loopy, but I'm going to tell you you're wrong right there, Loopy. Okay, let's see. Angela Levine, nasty ones. Take a good look in the mirror. She's copying Elizabeth Thorpe, that Nazaraf, Nazaraf Zal. Sorry, I apologize to, I don't mean to offend anyone with me not being able to pronounce their names. So, oh, Angela Levin, heaven forbid, retweets a picture of Megan that is bizarre looking. I mean, Loopy, put some glasses on those big eyes. I don't care who you are. That's a weird, those are, it was weird. Her stomach that day was weird. Then we come to... <clears throat> Then we come to Murky Meg. I've got some more tweets. So Murky Meg, we all remember this. Murky Meg tweeted those two goons with Harry. That's a pretty accurate face is what, anyway, I'm not going to be mean. On September 9th, that was September 19th Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. So it was 9.42 a.m. So that was 19 hours prior. So Loopy, wherever Loopy is, again, because like with Knitter, I, I don't know how these times work, so or people's VPN, so I'm not sure. But September 19th, Loopy's all over Benioff with Elizabeth E.T. Thorpe. Wink. All right. So then Mark Benioff also tweeted this on September 18th, who wore it best? Okay, sugars are all... The sugars, I don't think, were really that mad about this. I mean, they probably were, but they were really mad about the, the Murky Meg thing. Okay, who are they going after now? Uh, Robert Jobson, Royal Reporter, Sussex Hakedom, Google, Professional. So now he has time captured, or um, copied, Q Steph. Shocking. So these are all people that are in on it together. Thanks, Loopy. Chef Jose Andre, isn't that that world kitchen guy? I'm not sure. No Luila, Mike Sington, Dion Grant, D.W. Pine, and our girl Elizabeth. Now, I could have been all of these names and tweets and looking and seeing if they've talked to each other. I would be doing this for 20 years. So if anybody wants to 
start digging around <laughs> and uh, looking around, be my guest. I mean, I will start looking around, but um, yeah. So we can see what's going on here. So there's your uh, all-star crew right there. <clears throat> Who is this? Piper Major, K Kyoto Kitchen, according to Taz. She's got an Elizabeth, Ta Elizabeth Thorpe on Taz, September 14th. Tony, nope, they are bas basically just scum. Why are you snooping around here, sugar? See, Tony knew. Because Loopy is snooping around. She's gaining intel and reporting back she's the field agent for Sunshine Ball Sacks, aren't you, Loopy? Citing Twitter rules. Give me a break. Off you pop to a sugar scum squad page and follow like-minded folks. Way to go, Tony. Who's this now? Uh, more, more cows to puff up Megan Stein. If, if he had come across her two years previously, then it wasn't from watching her on a TV program. Katie, who's Katie Inchell said she got the information from Harry's friend. He has friends. I wonder who the friend was and why they were having drinks with a journalist, Elizabeth Thorpe. Well, I'm sure you guys got to the bottom of that one, didn't you, Libby? Big eyes. Snoopy eyes. Duchess Marmalade. Duchess Marmalade was talking to somebody. Yes, it is very po possible that it would be Sunshine Sachs who would call an end to working with Meghan Markle. That's correct. <clears throat> but either way, all the underhanded activities set up by Sachs with paid posters and paid articles would come to an abrupt end until the new team decides on their approach. Now, it's just, Loopy sure has a knack for just showing up to places, don't you, Loopy? Like she had a knack of showing up to everybody who was posting my blog or videos on Friday. Showed up. Just showed up, didn't you, Loopy? Now, either Christopher Boozy's bots were analyzing and told you, or you're just doing your own little key searches. Either or, or both. Loopy responds, why don't you contact Sunshine Sacks and ask if they drop the Sussexes account? Hey, Loopy, they wouldn't say anyway. There really is no reason to make up stories like this when a quick phone call is all that's needed, Elizabeth Thorpe. So... The field agent is reporting back that people are starting to wonder. Murky Meg, September 11th. What was that, about a week before she had to go? Eight days? I would love to know where Murchy Meg got the idea that they get paid for every person who clicks on their website. I'm assuming Archwell's website. Maybe she's getting mixed up with her own YouTube channel. Elizabeth E. Thorpe. And then she has a tweet down here. I'm currently making sure my brand is iron tight. What's wrong with that, Loopy? You're harassing some guy that lives in the Philippines over his actual trademarked company. I'm undertaking a trademark too. This will give me much more power if anybody uses my logo, blah, blah, blah. It's a problem, Loopy. Unless this is Nazi Germany and I just didn't get the message. Starting to feel like it. Brittany Gadry, Royal Brittany, they do have a high turnover rate. I'm not sure what that was about. Hey, Suki Week, she's gone. We went over that. Well, one way to find out is contact the company, a wink. How's your YouTube channel going, Elizabeth E. Thorpe? Okay, M's and Friends, Richard Aiden. Blah, blah, blah. Perhaps you can explain their behavior is far, far more harm harmful than that of numerous other members of the royal family. Elizabeth Thorpe. Trusted source, Elizabeth Thorpe. Oh, so down on this tweet, now we have Harper's Bazaar, Harper's Bazaar and um, Scooby, Scooby. Mm. So, talking about charity... Websites. I can't even read this crap anymore. CB, you've got another Elizabeth Thorpe and TMZ on you. 
from Doug Bro and Harry's gray suit. You got Elizabeth E. Thorpe and TMZ on you. Luca and Beasley Pam, you got an Elizabeth T. Thorpe on you. Luca has stated on new on a number of occasions. Well, how would you know, Loopy? That they actually know people who work in the palace. So, ask Luca what actually happened. I wonder if the forensic forensic accounting Luca claims was undertaken by William is what caught Charles out. Elizabeth T. Here is a warning on one of your tweets. Why is there a warning on one of your t tweets, Trevor? And then Loopy copies the British Army, Elizabeth Thorpe, hacking inquiry, and Nazira Fazal. Okay. Hasn't Trevor McCoat have had problems going on and off and people fighting with him and all kinds of stuff? Yeah. Why would you want to be associated with someone you claim you hate? Why don't you take this off your website, Trevor? And Trevor, Trevor campaigned for better treatment with veterans, mental health, blah, 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 supported and backed Harry. Yeah, well, how long ago was that, Loopy? Because was that before or after Harry turned into a piece of shite? Elizabeth E. Thorpe. Dan Wooten and Scobie. Oh, desperate Dan's having a pop. Omid is spot on. Oh, I bet he is, Loopy. I bet he is. Spot on what, though? Ew. Desperate Danny, Dan, Looney Levin, Evil Eden, along with the rest of the Rat Pack, are all riding the Sussex gravy train. Is that a fact, Loopy? Elizabeth E. Thorpe. I wish I wasn't so tired because I would have the best jokes right now. So this is the end here, folks. Couple things. First of all, Loopy here got on in March 2021, and that and wasn't there disaster bombshell Oprah interview in March 2021? Yeah. So they probably needed to um, uh, get some field field uh, agents out to combat all this the 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 truth talking about the lies that they were saying so that's about loopy then loopy has two little rats that work with loopy and i know who they are i will tell some of my close peeps who they are and then they can decide how to deal with them i'm not going to say who they are but i know who they are don't i loopy and um what else do i have here um I think that's about it for now. Like I said, I'm sorry. Hope everybody's catching the drift here. And um, if you like my channel, please subscribe, share the videos, fuck the ball sacks, um, enjoy the music. And as mentioned, my these pictures will be up on the blog. I don't know if it's going to be tonight, but I will... You can go to my blog. I'll put the link under the video in the comments section, and I'll make, and I'll post it to YouTube. So I'll make sure everybody will be able to find it. <laughs>